what we have here is basically the same identical phones Oppo, Find X3 and OnePlus let's hope there's a watermark on them on the video it will, it will give me less trouble editing this stuff those phones are basically the same well they look the same they have the same cases well same material the, the whole uh, the whole si system is uh, very similar okay we are on the wide angle lens walking around hum, hum, hum. it's a very nice weather today wow sunny day beautiful and beautiful place to film okay let's go to 1x one 1x one on one side and 1x on the other side now now we are in the main lens let's hope oppo doesn't get foggy well it's quite warm so if it gets foggy that will be completely disaster for this uh, for my oppo and my oppo is broken i don't know because yesterday it was getting f -f -f condensation under the lens which is ridiculous anyway this house looks like stability and everything let me walk a little bit faster and now it would be nice to test uh, autofocus wow I think OnePlus is, a, is that the OnePlus? yes that's the OnePlus it's a bit faster what do you think? Yeah, a bit faster for the OnePlus. Now, telephoto action. We can go all the way. 20x in the Oppo. And 10x for the OnePlus. Hmm. What is that? Let's go back to, to 10x in the both phones. Well, similar distortions. Let's go back to one, but no. Oh, let's go back to the main lens. And we are back in the main lens. Now I've spinned the phones, and this is full length of my arm. Sorry for the wind noise. It's, it's, it's getting windy length of my arm and both phones you can compare the colors my jacket is blue so it will indicate some colors in here it's not too much colors okay, there's some well green is everywhere so there you go some green oh we should do a telephoto on you know, this one can, can, can do it again let's, let's do it again like 3x that's 3x and 3x. Which one's better? Huh. I think Oppo is better. Okay, let's go back. And 1x. Those sliders are pissing me off. Should, should be some numbers here. I mean, the points when I can just press and it will return to the. Uh, previous position, not sliders. All right, now we need to test from facing camera. That's what it is. It's getting foggy, up I mean. No, that's great. Front facing camera. I can do wide angle on Oppo. I'm still checking out which one is which, because on the front they're basically similar. Uh, and one plus, not really. I could change it. You see, it's still wider. Let me just change it again. So, uh, in the front-facing department, Oppo wins. Well, wins because it's wider. That's what. That's all it is. What about autofocus? Doesn't exist in both phones. Well, it's fixed for focus. It's not like Samsung Galaxy, which has autofocus on the front, which is fantastic. I think iPhone also has that feature. 
uh, yeah, stabilization. How can you hear me? How can you see me? That is the question. Only full HD in both phones and front facing camera, which is kind of retarded in this price range. Yeah, it's retarded. Why or why did they they not place the 4K camera at the front? I don't get it. What about the sky? Basically same. What do you think? This looks like basically same smartphone. Just one is closer than, than another. Let, let, let me just do it closer. I think it's even the same camera. Maybe not. Let me know in the comment below. Some pigeons. Okay, so I think that's all I have. Two smartphones. Very similar one. And I do some benchmarks with those smartphones, with bo bo both of them. And let me tell you, very similar scores. And uh, those compared to the Realme GT, uh, they're kind of weak. Well, in the benchmark the, the department, in real life, you won't see the difference at all. There's no app which could get ad advantage of those speeds, which at least I, I don't know the app. Let me know in a comment below. That's all I have. Thanks for watching and see you next video. Bye.